You don't seem to talk about your StarCraft 2 days much. Did the scene leave a bad taste? I'm sorry if I gave you that impression, Mav. The scene gave a very good taste. In fact, I think the scene was what I enjoyed the most about StarCraft. And if any member of the StarCraft scene feels abandoned by me by ignoring to talk about it, I'm sorry about that. Because... The community is in StarCraft was actually super freaking amazing and more cool than in Warcraft 3 because we had so many foreigners playing and watching the game. Whereas in Warcraft 3 it was all uh, centered around a country that, while being awesome, I could not converse the language with China. Not much anyway. The reason I don't talk much about StarCraft is because I burned out on the game. But to talk about it sounds... Uh, salty sometimes and uh, that is unfair to the game and the community I don't want to be one of those people that because they left the game behind they therefore talk like oh yeah uh, bad game or I left it behind and I, I don't like it anymore it's true I don't like to play it anymore but I still think the game is great and I'm happy for the community and the game to go on it's just I personally burned out in my uh, career on it to the point where when I think about playing StarCraft I feel almost physically sick from it but that's not a reflection of the game but of myself so. that's why I don't talk much about it I'm, I'm happy with where I am and I don't need to look back uh, I like playing heroes I like my weekends with Warcraft Yes, winter gaming is there. Number one view, Walter. He, he, him I don't miss. Bilgis, thank you for subbing. Balloon, grant us strength. Could you play next game against heavy tank team as Leoric? I feel he's underrated. Let's I do really good on him every time I try him against tank or is just melee heavy teams. Uh... You know, I, I could play Alarak here, actually. I've been uh, trying to play him for a while. Trying to look for an opportunity. This is a pretty good one. Uh, Leoric, is he underrated? I think he's pretty pretty well ra uh, rated. Here we go again. Chromie. <laughs> there is always hope. Can you get burned out from HOTS? Are you enjoying it a lot? I don't think I will ever get burned out from HOTS. Maybe like uh, eventually there'll be a phase where I enjoy another game more than 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 HOTS. It's possible. I don't feel that way now. I'm a pretty monogamous kind of guy. But uh, what happened at the end of StarCraft is that I practiced because I wanted to perform so bad. I practiced so hard and so many hours. That's really what leads to tilts and burnouts. Uh, I had a very long period of time where I play to perform and not just with the pure love of the game and to consistently push yourself when you're not really enjoying. That is in the end what leads to burnouts, doesn't it? And I didn't even know that there was parts which like I didn't enjoy as much. So it uh, kind of snuck by me. Because it's alien to me to not enjoy a game that I'm playing. Because I've never had to. ETC is defensive? Is it? The crusade calls. <laughs> what about hammer? I could do hammer, but we don't have a solo laner yet. Once you hover a solo laner and your team drafts around it, to suddenly go for a quad laner is BM. I stand ready. Thank you, Kazenia. Plus they got Chromie. I would never pick Hammer into Chromie. Ah, 
Kirby, I've heard streamers say they make different decisions in game and or pay less attention while playing when playing while streamers. Do you feel affected by this? I mean, if you ever hear me read chat once during a game, Zigmar Supremacy, that is different from not streaming, isn't it? If I read just one comment, that's different from just playing by myself. And sometimes the uh, the will to entertain inadvertently leads you to do more greedy plays on stream than off stream. Yes, this does happen. I don't know why ETC, by the way, would be more defensive than Johanna. ETC is too defensive. Let's go with Johanna instead so we can be aggressive. It's uh, the exact opposite. It's funny. But... <laughs> What is the right time to pick Ariel? asks Serentis. Um, combine her with good sustained damage dealers like Gul'dan, Vala, Sylvanas, Lunara. Uh, that gives her a lot of hope and that gives her uh, really good healing. Do you have some solid advice on climbing in Hero League? I've always been Diamond 1 and I'm stuck in Platinum right now for ages. Go play some quick match, get really good at like two different heroes Snorlick is, then you uh, use them, abuse them to to climb. Go play 30 games with one hero in a row in quick match and then tell me that you didn't improve with them. And then go use them in Hero League. Oh, ETC plus Johanna would be too defensive. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. I go for applied. F I could go power on it. No, I get applied force. My decrees are. Does Arthas counter thrall? A little bit, yeah. Vengeance is mine. Oh, as I desire. He absolutely knows that this guy is here. Because never showed in bot. Only because I will it. Both they shall suffer. So goes the chain of ascension. As if I don't know that, how could you possibly burst through the shield, Yellow Flash? You take me for a fool, or what? Can you take talk a little about your talent choices during the game? Um, yes. I go for Applied Force, so it's easier to pull someone out of position. Um... At four, I will get double cross because I believe it's the best. Big radius, easier to hit people even if they dodge because it goes to the side. I need a globe! Onward. <laughs> I really thought there'll be a globe again. It was a second away.
two seconds. <laughs> cool story, Bob. Cool, he has the WWW build. Greetings, stay a while and listen. I would get Chaos Reigns. Ah, at least Chromie died. It's not too bad. What is the red percentage bar above your health? Ah, that's uh, sadism, quant 91. That's a sadism. It's a trait that says how much bonus damage I do with spells against heroes. The standard is 100%, which basically, in other words, it means that uh, Alorak's autos, uh, I mean, Alorak's uh, spells just suck against minions. That's all it means, really. My decrees are absolute. Me bot now. I'll get Counter Strike. So goes the chain of ascension. Against Double Warrior, always Counter Strike. Do you really think playing 30 games as one hero in quick match will be better than practicing 30 games in unranked draft? I think unranked is better, but there's like a pretty decent chance you don't get the hero you want. Either because you're a nice guy, or because it gets banned, or because someone else takes it. Either on your team or on the opponent's team. <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow. Cool. 98% by the way. Do you question your decrees or are they absolute? They're, pr they're pretty absolute. Why always against double warrior counter strike? Can you explain? Yeah, they've got too much front line to actually be able to say like, okay, I'll just deadly charge past it and go for the back line. Um, and generally warriors got more CC than other heroes. So Counter-Strike can help to keep you alive. Otherwise, two warriors just kind of play with you like a basketball. And uh, it hurts. Oh, well, predictable yet effective. Feels laser. I agree with this decision. Um, I think Gul'dan can just come over already. Maybe. Uh, he needs to be careful of the trap. I didn't angle it properly. I'll get psychokinesis. time I don't know what but every time something pushes away my my uh, my target of silence what do we it's I think it's gust every time <coughs> Gul'dan never came which I think is a mistake um, it's not like they had a big zerg swarm 2% he did not have horrify though and now he does but he didn't have it initially because it got used here but it was basically a 4v5. Why is it 90% on your trade, not 100? Uh, you can sacrifice sadism percentage by choosing for utility. It was ETC, W, then Gus. Yeah. I agree with this decision. Are you sure Alarak should be in viable tier? I'm sure about nothing. Except that after rain there will be sunshine. Um, do you get psychokinesis because the best or the least bad? Um, actually, dissonance and psychokinesis are both good. I don't like the other two. So, a little bit of both. I think I just leave this. I just go five man. Just checking the boss. Find these mercenaries into our service. <laughs> Instant ping back. No. Ugh, I've no much better here. My blade seeks blood. Oh my god, I missed. My decrees are absolute. I'll go tap to get some regen. Crystal Aegis, guaranteed. I get uh, Quick Mind. Acceptable. Mm, acceptable. <laughs> the sound. <laughs> I think Hasty Bargain is good. Uh, <laughs> hasty Bargain. Uh, hasty Bargain's funny. Is it good? I don't know, man. I think it is good, yes. 
but the easiest to use is Deadly Charge. Greetings, it has friend. natural synergy too with Counter Strike. Hey, thank you for subbing, oh, Evil uh, Leprechaun. Well Crystal Aegis gets countered nicely by uh, Counter Strike. Actually, I, di I didn't really think of that before. Guaranteed hit on a low HP target. Perfect. Yeah, we can get him as well. Nice. Yeah, finally played some Alarak for the people that were requesting it. And it wasn't half bad, I think. That's fun. MVP. If you need some lessons uh, in Alarak Yellow Flash, let me know. I can have a special friend's prize for you. Drigan Jakoto says, what do you think about the inconsistency of Tassadar shields at the new level 1 talent? Yeah, wasn't there a bug there, Drigan? Let's just see how he makes it to live server. How can you save Tassadar with this state in the PTR? I mean, I just don't want to write him off based on PTR type Etoile. Greetings, friend. Are you GM Yellow? <laughs> can you explain W quick cast for Alarak? Yeah. Once you press W, it'll start drawing the vector. You don't touch your mouse except aiming. So, without pressing any buttons on your mouse, you press W, you hold down the W, and then you drag your mouse and release. You never press any buttons, but it's still vector targeting. Hey, Kirby, what do you think of the reworks? Uh, I like TAS. I think Rexar um, is also improved. He's just not as much my type of hero, but I think I think Rexar definitely improved. Uh, for Tassadar, it is a bit doubtful. A lot of negative reactions. I had fun with Psystorm build. The auto attack build with slow looks a little weak. And his survivability has taken a big hit. Until he gets Twilight Archon at 20 with Life Plasma, Life Leech Plasma. I need to get the level 16 upgrade epicenter to make them quake with fear. Hello. I'll get Locust Swarm. 